<laughs> this bed's kind of out of control in how vigorous it is. There's just so much going on. The flowers are beautiful. Where the radishes didn't grow and we planted lettuce, the lettuce is coming on beautifully. There's green peppers coming in that fill the size of the palm of my hand. The cucumber that's over here is crazy. Remember we harvested a massive cucumber from this uh, plant last time at day 30? Well, it's got dozens of baby cucumbers growing on it, so we're going to talk more about that cucumber in a little bit. The sunflowers are growing up over a meter tall. The pole beans are growing up as well. The tomatoes are as tall as I when I'm seated. There's beets growing like mad and I can see the actual beetroot forming that's in the soil. And then the lettuce is vigorous behind that because it's quite enjoying the shade and not going to seed in the heat because it's shaded, which is what it wants. Remember we took off the bottom flowers and stems, sorry, the bottom leaves and stems of the tomato plants that get more light than into the beets and the lettuce that's here. So this bed is just completely pumping. It's so vigorous and full. And there's actually tomatoes forming now that are almost the size of golf balls in there. I'll try to get an image of a few and then we're gonna take a peek at the cucumber a little further. So it's a little bit hard to see the tomato that's in here. I took a photo of it that you might be able to see right now and it's already golf ball size and there's a lot of tomatoes forming. So all I'm doing as the tomato leaves and stems keep growing is putting them out of the top of the cage so that they have a high support wire as possible and then allowing a lot of light to get in at the lettuce and at the beets that are down below. Everything's been doing fantastic. Okay, let's go over to look at the cucumber now. So guys, you can see this cucumber is really growing. It's got the peppers and the marigolds and lettuce in front. It's got the sunflower and the pole bean growing on this side and it's starting to spread and spread and the sun is that way and it's falling over the back of the bed. So I want to create a little bit of a plan where it can grow and get maximum sun exposure without climbing up all the other things around it. Let's give it something to grow on. Here we go. So what I've done is I've cut two pieces of wood. They might look like I'm going to war, but I'm not. I'm just going to put them parallel to each other into the soil at a bit of an angle, kind of creating kind of like a... Uh, a solar panel would to catch as much sun as possible on a sunny day. And then onto those, I'm just going to attach a few lateral slats and hopefully it'll climb up this just like it would a ladder. You could do the same with a piece of netting. You could prop a skid or a pallet up as well. And any one of those ways will create a bit of a platform facing the sun that I think the cucumber is going to love growing up and it's going to take a lot less space up in your garden growing onto everything around it. So let's try putting that together, okay? So all I'm hoping to do here is to get these two boards in here and create some space for them. Hopefully I can get them in at the same angle. I'm just gonna knock them in with a hammer. And in so doing, get a great way for them to grow. Okay, that one's in nice and strong now. Now we're gonna put this one that's in parallel to it and then we'll put the cross slats on. Okay, we've got two strong slats that are parallel to each other. Now all I'm gonna do is put some lateral slats that are gonna go across here, kind of like a ladder. So I'll put a few of these on here and then I'll check back in with you. All I've done is selected some screws that are not gonna be too long. They can go through both pieces of wood without sticking out and creating a sharp edge. So basically, we created a tiny little cucumber ladder. We've now guided the pieces or the vines of cucumber growing up and it's gonna start elevating itself on here. And in this way, it gets elevation and catches more sun. So it's gonna to wanna to come up. And as a result, it's not gonna trellis onto the path or climb up the bean pole or drag on the sunflower or go over the pepper in the front. I think it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And I used scrap wood, a hammer to knock it in, and a drill. That was it. Here's another really good opportunity to see the difference between a female flower and a male flower on a cucumber plant. If you didn't know before, yes, there's male and female flowers on cucumber plants. So the female flower you can find because there's a little tiny cucumber starting up and the flowers on the tip of it, the blossom end. And this is a male flower here. There's no fruit, there's no cucumber. It's just a flower coming off the stem, no cucumber. So a bee has to come and pollinate, getting onto the male flower, drag pollen over and put it onto the female flower for that cucumber attached to the female flower to actually successfully grow. Otherwise. The cucumber will just kind of start to rot, decay, and it won't really grow or take off. If I just take the camera and I just go down a little bit here, look at this now. Here's a female flower that's now finished up. It's been pollinated. You can take it off. And right here is the cucumber 
that was successfully, the flower was pollinated, so the cucumber's growing. And then down below, you've got some other little ones. The flower's fallen off of this one, so I don't think it got pollinated, so probably this one's going to fall off. It won't succeed. It's better to just take it off now and not have the cucumber plant put energy into it. So male and female, and it's got to be pollinated. Very cool, hey? All right, guys. So that kind of wraps up the day 40 update. We got a little cucumber ladder in the background. You've learned a little bit, hopefully, about male and female flowers and how the pollination works. And I will just add to you that if it's an heirloom variety of cucumbers and you want to save the seeds, you can wait till that cucumber's really ripe on the vine, way riper than you'd want to pick it to eat it, probably to the point where it's getting yellow and getting old and tired. Then pluck it, take it indoors, let it get even riper and it's gonna let the seeds inside that heirloom cucumber totally develop and mature. And at that point, if you cut open the cucumber lengthwise, you'll be able to pull out seeds that you can dry out just at air temperature in the room, preferably not the kitchen where it's moist. And those dry seeds will shrink a little bit. And now you've just saved heirloom cucumber seeds that you can plant next season. Voila, grow them and save them. Isn't that wonderful? So thanks for joining in on the day 40 of the Backyard Abundance Update, and we're gonna be back again in 10 days, and keep on rolling.